There are so many theories about Scream. I'm sure you've heard them all at this point. Uh, but there's one in particular that um, I wanted to ask you about, but this sort of dynamic between Billy and Stu mm. in the first Scream. Do you know where I'm going with this? Yeah, are you wondering whether there was a, rela a burgeoning relationship, love, love, love <laughs> relationship going on in there? Of course. Perhaps, perhaps, yeah. I mean, it's very much a possibility. And now that Kevin's out and talking more about that, I would imagine that's a big part of his thinking. Yeah. Um, where, when you say perhaps, what makes you think that it's possible? I don't know clearly because no one, Kevin hasn't said to me clearly that's what it is, but it is a possibility, right? Yeah. But if you were to theorize, like hypothetically looking back. If I were to theorize, um, I would say that there was perhaps some confusion with them. <laughs> um, pretty confused. <laughs> pretty confused, guys. <laughs> and that might, and that maybe some of their anger comes from not being allowed to be who they want to be. If you mm -hmm. want to go there, what do you think? I want to go there. And yeah, I mean, you know, in the second scream, there's mention mockingly of like repressed, a repressed homosexual being the killer. Um, yes. You know, even though it's said jokingly, right? But it's still sort of nod to like what we've all been thinking. Um, and I think that maybe Stu is, is hotter for Billy than Billy is for yeah, yeah, Stu. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well, it's been it's been confirmed. You know what? I talked to Kevin on Monday, but if Nev says it, then uh, then it's yeah. truth. <laughs> it's true. <laughs>